Well, we hope all you millennials are paying attention to the National Real Estate Cafe with Don Gatling and Gino Front, getting your daily dose of real estate market updates. Yeah, and I know that everybody's tired of hearing millennials, 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 but guess what? During the other years, baby boomers got tired of hearing baby boomers, baby boomers. During Gen X, Gen X people got tired of hearing Gen X, Gen X, Gen X. So that's just the way it is. Well, and especially now, there's more millennials, believe it or not, than there were baby boomers. That's mm -hmm. huge. So let's see how it's affecting the real estate markets with this first slide. Ta -da. So finally, you guys are getting off the pot. I mean, millennials waited a long time. Typically, in the, in the past, it was 25 years old. You go to get into home. Now it's looking like closer to 30, 31 years old. But now a larger percentage of first-time home buyers are millennials. Look, look at, this at these numbers. Yeah, 84% in January of all first-time home buyers were millennials. Even more in February and even more in March. 88% of all first-time home buyers. Almost 9 out of 10 First time home buyers are millennials. You guys are finally getting out there and buying homes as you should. I get I get that you're a little afraid. <laughs> I'd be gun shy too with what happened. Yeah, Holy no smokes. Doubt. All right, so let's go to this next slide. And this is the reasons why you millennials are buying homes. All right, so 23% don't want to rent anymore. Yay. Number one reason you should buy a home. That's right. 21% saved enough money to buy, which doesn't mean 20%. It could just mean 3%. Yeah, there you go. And 0% uh, for uh, you vets. And we love you vets. Thank you for your service. Um, want a more stable job. They finally feel that they can purchase. Well, the economy does that, right? Yeah. Because nobody's afraid. No, I'm not going to say nobody, but most people aren't afraid of losing their job right now because the economy is pretty good. There you go. And, oh, let's see, getting married or having children. Yeah. yeah there's 30% of you right there. I was going to say, you could kind of lump those two in together because yeah. one leads to the other. It kind of does. It's sometimes in opposite directions that you think. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> I was an oops. It happens. <laughs> All right, so thank you, millennials, for finally getting off the, you know, out there and purchasing home. We, we've been saying day after day, take action. You're gonna be so glad. We have not handed the keys to millennials and said, "Oh, I wish I wouldn't have done that." To anybody, for that matter. That's true. Yeah, nothing home like homeownership. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> we both agree, obviously. <laughs> and plus, it's you got tax advantages. It's the best savings plan in the world, and best way to build your net worth. You know. That home ownership, you have a 46 times greater network than a renter. How about that? Yeah, that's a huge, huge astronomical number. Now, the key is you got to hold the real estate over time. That's the secret. You've got to be able to hold real estate. That's the most important part to owning homes. There you go. You heard right here in the National Real Estate Cafe with Don Gettling and Gino Fronti, where you get your daily dose of real estate market updates. And that's the disclaimer for the day. Check <laughs> us out by texting NREC to the number 58885 or check us out at donandgino.com.